Greetings, citizens of the internet. I'm Static Buzz, and we're back playing some Kingdom Hearts 3. I guess we're going to go into Twilight Town and see if anything's changed now that we've left the mansion. I don't understand the whole virtual world thing at this point. We're going to find out. Uh... I did not know I could talk to him. When did that happen? Back to town we go. I guess if you get lost, you'll always have them telling you where to I go. I hope they find something useful on that computer. Alright, let's see if we're going to have any fights along the way or if it's going to be just a straight shot to town. I have a feeling that... Why? Yeah, I had a feeling it was going to be... More monkey business. This is the monkey heartless. I think I called them nightmares on accident in the last episode. I don't know why. But I did. Oh, we got all these things popping up because I'm not paying attention. Pay attention, man. We got special moves. Use them. Ooh, what is splash one? Oh, wait. We used that before. I didn't mean to finish. I was trying to jump some more. Oh well. Finished all but one of them off? And Donald got him. Wait, wait, wait. Did you guys... Okay. I thought for some reason I got that chest and then it was back available again, but no. I hadn't got that chest. I'll have to go back for it. I saw it. Don't hurry. You know me and my shinies. I gotta get them. Back off! Ah, uh, come on, jump! Let's go get these archers! Time for the splash run, alright. What's the button I hit to jump? Is it the normal? It's the normal jump button, alright. And it looks like when you finish, what happens is you go all the way back through all the water you just put down. So if you can go through them all a second time, you should be able to finish them off. Except for they keep coming. Yeah, yeah, I saw him. I'm coming. Where'd he go? You gotta move! Nice. That might have been a waste because I wasn't really in the middle of him. Jump for the monkey! Monkey! Can I? Oh, I was trying to do one of those moves off the tree. I guess can't do that. All right, let's go second form. Let's go over here. Use it, and then go splash run. Hard to see what you're doing here. I'm gonna try to go as long as I can. Well, I guess they're all gone. Doesn't matter, they're dead. Okay, I thought they all were, but then I saw... Alright, I guess they are. Okay. Now I gotta figure out where the heck that chest was. No, the other way? Ah! Stop sliding! Alright, yeah, it's back the other way. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Good call, Donald. I almost Let's missed see. that. Nice. Nice. Garsh. I'll help you find the next one. Well, you better hurry up. I want them all. I don't know what they do yet, but I want them all. 
All right, where was that? There it is. I found it. I got my chest. Yes. If I can hit the right button, I got my chest. Fluorite. I think that's another synthesis item. All right, let's just run around, make sure we get everything. Like this mushy room. No, no, no. We got it. All right, anything hidden over here? Nope. Nothing up my sleeve. All right, let's head back to town. I think it was right over here. Well, I bet you there's a lucky emblem here. We already got the lucky emblem over there. Did we? Come on. Yeah, we got the one that was up here. What happens if you take another picture? <laughs> ah, no. All right, let's hit it. Let's see. Alright, so we've already taken this picture, so we don't need to worry about that one. So I wonder if there's one down here somewhere. We will keep an eye out. Or if Goofy's good to his word, he'll keep an eye out for us. Busting up stuff! Alright, I don't think we need any of this, but... Just in case there's monies in it, we're gonna smash her up. Like that. See, there was money. Four monies. Money's hard to come by. You gotta get those little bits to get a lot of bits. Oh, we got a fight coming up. You see them poking their head out? They're trying to be sneaky, but I saw them. Yeah, I saw it. Oh man, I was hoping for the spin move. Didn't happen. Alright. I'm going to learn how to do that on cue so that I can do it when I want to do it. I'm not seeing any lucky emblems. Okay, I thought that box could be hit, but I guess it couldn't. And see, we're getting synthesis items too, so we gotta break everything. It's the way the game works. Gotta break and shake. Oh, there's more back here? Oops! It's so pretty though. Alright, we probably don't need... Didn't use that blaster blaze yeah. at all, but I'm kind of hoping that something pops out on me, but it's not. <laughs> yeah, we're already back in town, so any of that was a waste of a special. Alright, where am I supposed to go? I guess here because we got a cutscene. Cutscene! <laughs> well, bless oh. my bagpipes! It was you laddies who rescued my <laughs> chef! I can't go Scrooge! Scrooge McDuck? Huh? Are you kidding me? Wait, didn't he sell ice cream in Hollow Bastion? That's right! But Uncle Scrooge here is what you might call a world traveler! Cool! <laughs> How are you, Uncle Scrooge? Oh, hello, Sora. You're looking hale and hearty. I heard you were on another grand adventure with these two. I hope Donald isn't making a menace of himself. Uh, why did you have to say that? So, Uncle Scrooge, what's that you were saying about a chef? Oh, right, right. The chef of me bistro here wanted to show you his appreciation. So, he baked this for ya! Hmm... What is it? Wow! <laughs> yummy! Cake. That looks yummy even though it's... <laughs> not real. The whole cake? It's for us? Huh? I mean, uh, settle down. 
the chef wants you to know it's not a cake, but a tart of fruit. Yes, it's a lot of fruit, and I like the fruit. Why keep it under my hat? And it's the red. May I introduce Little Chef? Oh, oh is that his name, Little you. Chef? Uncle Scrooge, you open the bistro and try on town. Hi. It all started a little while ago when I was enjoying one of the best meals of my life. And when I asked to speak to the chef, I met this wee genius. As it turns out, he wanted to expand his culinary horizons. So I thought, that's an opportunity. And I financed the whole operation. Ooh, I think he wants to cook some more for you. Fetch some ingredients, especially anything unusual. That'll be fun. Kinda like a scavenger hunt. And the more the better. The mark of a truly great chef is creating masterpieces out of anything. You can start right here in town. We'll do anything to try more of Little Chef's food. Yeah. That tart sure did look scrumptiously delicious. Okay, the ingredient hunt is on. <laughs> the ingredient hunt is on. I guess that what that's what this episode's gonna be. All right, Little Chef's Bistro. At Little Chef's Bistro, you can transform the ingredients you've gathered into delicious meals. Eating the cu cuisines you prepare will grant you beneficial effects like temporary stat increases. The recipes available at the Bistro depend on the ingredients you've gathered, so be sure to scour each world you visit for the makings of new and powerful recipes. All right, so there's got to be stuff in town if they wanted me to gather stuff. I'm just wondering if it's up high or down low or... That kid, I'm like beating his box and he's not even moving. He's like, whatever, man. I'm looking at this poster. Little Chef needs more ingredients. We better keep an eye out. Did I just get an ingredient? <laughs> Okay, when did that start to happen? Oh yeah, there we go. We got some fruit. Just imagine the yummy stuff little chef will whip up with this. Alright, so there's a counter up there. We need seven more fruity fruit thingies or leave. little chef still needs our help. Whatever. Oh, I'm not trying to leave. I'm trying to find what? ingredients. I Trying to go through the bottom here, and then we'll go up top. Yep, you definitely can. All right, so we'll work around the bottom, and then once we're done there, we'll head up top. Sounds like a plan to me. And you always gotta have a plan, otherwise you just wander aimlessly. Hope we find some ingredients around here. I never even noticed there was a chest right there. And it has Mystic Mithril Shards. Kids got skills. Alright. Uh, did that give us an ingredient? It did. Alright, so. Fast. Food well, to boxes, <laughs> or I guess that's not fast food boxes. It's more like Oriental food boxes. Oh come on, hit it! All right, two more ingredients. We might not have to go up top. Might and might not. I'd be surprised if there's at least not one up top. Giving me money. Nice moves. Yep, it gave me like 70 money. Oh no, no, no! I didn't want to climb. I wanted to hit the basket. Sorry, kid. I'm not trying to hit you. Let's see if there's more. Yeah. All right, one more ought to do it. What is down here? Mm, 
Where's my ingredients? Yeah. We can't leave. Little Chef still needs our help. I wasn't trying to leave. That's the bistro. I think that's the bistro. Of course. When I got those old got debunked. Uh Whoa. Wait, did I get this box over here? Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I got it. Got that as well. I'm missing one. Like I said, I would not be surprised if they put one up top. But they didn't. It's right here. And we're all on the bottom. Cutscene time! Hey, boss. Down with the posters. Uh -huh. Hi! Good work, kids. You guys work for Uncle Scrooge here at the Bistro? Um, do we? He gave us a short job putting up these special posters. Mr. McDuck's hosting an open-air film festival in the courtyard. Cool, huh? <laughs> oh, Sora. Hold your phone up to the poster. <sighs> oh, Kay. no. There, you've just downloaded a promo game for the film. You can try it later. You can add this, Uncle Scrooge? Of course, laddie. Provide a bit of entertainment, and then give folks a nice, cozy place to relax. Like my bistro here. They'll all be happy and hungry, and eager to spend their money. <laughs> <laughs> that was an evil laugh. Uncle Scrooge. Gore, she sure is canny. I always wondered how he keeps customers coming into his businesses over and over. Oh, yeah, I'm no business guy, but I sure wouldn't want to be one of Uncle Scrooge's competitors. Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, right. I need to warn you guys. Why? Well, those creepy crawly things might come back for more. So stay on your toes. Sure. But don't we have you guys to take care of him for us? You have to leave again? Mm-hmm. But we'll definitely be back. When are you gonna slow down? Sorry. Just do me a favor. Well, what is it? Don't make it too tough. I know how Roxas feels to be lost. But Donald and Goofy, Kyrie, brought me back by wishing with all their hearts. Mm -hmm. So, I was hoping the three of you would do the same, and wish for Roxas. What? That's it? <laughs> That's no favor. We'll all wish. I'm wishing. Yeah. Me and Pence, too. <laughs> Thanks. When you wish upon a star, right? Oh, there's those two buttheads. And uh, what are they up to? Aren't you making it a little too obvious? We were instructed to guide him. Yes, just look at them. They wouldn't get far if we did not spell it out. Huh. Fair enough. But let's not forget how many times Sora still managed to rain on our parade. If he wavers from the path we lay, we destroy him. But in that case, we'll have to find ourselves another vessel. Vessel for that what? That is why we never have just one iron in the fire. Uh, Giant Land, a classic kingdom game. You can play it on the gummy phone. All right. Classic Kingdom. Select Classic Kingdom from the Gummy Phone menu to access the game. Selection screen. Press Y to view the controls for the current selected game. To exit a game, press the Select button to pause the game, then exit to return 
to the game selection screen. You never know where you f might find new games to play, so keep your eyes peeled while exploring the world. So now I gotta look for RFID cards. Or not cards, um... That's not what those are called. What are those called? Uh, those codes. Uh, I forget. Somebody let me know, because I forget. Alright. Keyblade with an emphasis on magic, form change, double arrow guns, magic launcher. Yeah, I think we're switching to that one. That looks pretty cool. Hmm. Definitely gonna switch to that one. That could be fun. We brought some ingredients. After this. Enter the bistro. Yep, why not? Just go. Can you keep the food and take it along with you? Or is it like a one-time hit and quit type of deal? Let's find out. Is the food ready yet? Huh? Hmm? Hmm? He hasn't started? Huh? Whoa! Whoa! Hold on! Hey! Hey! Oh no! Yep. Oh! Whoa! Would you... Uh, you're gonna make me cook? <laughs> oh goodness gracious. Alright. So... Um... All right, grind the pepper. Use the pepper grinder to season with style. Alternate between tilting and just as the ring closes to grind the pepper. You have a limited time to cook. Watch the hourglass at the edge of the kitchen. You gotta be kidding me. Am I cooking here? Okay, what happened? Sorry. All right, let's try it again. Oops. Oh no! What? Sorry. It said right. Hold down. Maybe I'm doing it before it starts. All right, let's try one more time. I'm not hitting anything yet. Okay, I get it. It was in the circle. Oh, too slow. Are you kidding me? Oh goodness gracious. This is not fun. All right, let's try an egg dish. Now that I know what I'm doing. Ah, cracking eggs. Here we go. Yeah. Oops. Oh. Too hard. Sorry. What in the blazes is going on? Oh no. Okay. That's was kind of difficult. Yes, how's that? Chocolate mousse just for doing that. Okay. What else do we got? Let's try a little bit of fire. All right, tilt in a circle to pour, and then I hope I can get this right. Too little. Sorry. Oh, this is not easy. Yeah. All right. I did it. Full course. It. Jeez, that was rough. That was really rough. Whew. Yeah, we're done with that for now. Holy cow. I don't have anything for any. I could make some more chocolate mousse and... But yeah, let's uh, leave for now. I kind of want to see what happens with the food. Do we get to keep it and take it with us? So then we can use it for boss fights or whatever. That would be kind of cool. Let's find out. Uh, that was a beautiful, beautiful cooking. All right, come on, game. Load, load faster.
I am definitely gonna have to switch yeah, I can't wait for this controllers after this. This that button's still sticking. This might be a good spot to find some ingredients. I wonder if this poster's got one of them promo games. Uh, I guess. We got another one? Let's try it out! Yeah, let's try it! I already got that one, right? So... Okay, so all the posters? No, just certain ones. That is interesting. Alright, so now let's check our inventory. No, it's not what I wanted to do. Even though I do want to try to find the... There's got to be more... Lucky emblems? Alright, so they're... They're here. They got their own menu. Does it say how long it lasts? Oh, uh, okay. Okay, so... We don't really have all of them, but we can eat them. And is that the time that they last? Alright, I'm not going to eat any right now. I just wanted to kind of see what it did. What is Shooting Star? That's the other Keyblade. We need to switch to that one. Wait, what was that? Oh, that was one of those. Okay. Let's go to Equipment! Sora! Hmm... And let's see, just at a, just for giggles, if no, he's got the shield. He can't. I was thinking maybe we could give him the other keyblade, but looks like we can't. And it looks like Donald has a staff. So I wonder if there's upgrades for them in the game or not. You would think that there would be, but. Okay, okay. Adversaries. Is this like a bestiary? The nobodies, the heartless. Does it actually show them? It does. That's kind of cool. I can actually get their real names. Neo Shadow. What is a Vermilion Samba? Oh, okay. Rock Troll? Is that those big... Oh, that's that dude. Okay. They got satyrs? It doesn't look like a satyr. It looks like a bull. Power Wild? The monkeys? Really? Dark side. Okay. So that's what those are called. They're called demon towers. I did not know that. And for the nobodies, we just have the two types for now. All right, I get it. I get it. What about character files? What does that show us? Main characters. Everyone else? Really? Chip, Dale, Maleficent, Pete, M Moogle? Who's Moogles? Oh! Moogles! I know what Moogles are. Just didn't catch... Why is there a Mickey symbol next to Olympus? Is that because I beat it already? Oh, lucky emblems. There we go. We can maybe find out how many are in Twilight Town. Oh, wow. We found four out of nine. I got some searching to do. Alright, alright. I'm probably not going to do that right now though I have a feeling we'll be coming back to these areas anyways all right but for now we are right at the 30 minute mark so it's time for reflections wasn't a whole lot of action in this episode but it did add another game feature the cooking part so I really like the way they introduced it that's a good way to introduce a, a new feature or well I mean it's not a new f feature I don't know if it was in the previous Kingdom Hearts game. 
at any rate, a feature for the game being introduced like that was really cool. I liked it. And they're having to grab the ingredients and then go in to do the cooking. The cooking was not that enjoyable. It was kind of difficult to figure out. It probably needed to be simplified, but I'll get used to it. But all in all, yeah, I think I, I really enjoyed this episode. It was fun. It was definitely fun. I'm looking forward to see where we end up going next. I should probably go save before I do anything else. But while I do that... I'm going to go ahead and end the episode, so until next episode, take care. Bye-bye now. Static buzz. Out. So many things to smash. So many things. Oh, you can visit the bistro from the save points? That's kind of nice. How do you do that? Let's see if we can figure that out. There it is. Visit the bistro. Okay, world map. Where's that taking us? I'm scarred. Where are we going? I'm sorry I left without saying goodbye. Did Master Yen Sid tell you? I'm training to become a Keyblade wielder like you. I guess the episode's not over. That's right. No more waiting for you to come back from your adventures. I want to get out there and do my part to help. Merlin has used his magic to bring us to a place where time doesn't matter. We can take as long as we need to complete our training. He's an amazing wizard. Oh, and by us, I mean me and Lee. He's really sorry for all the trouble he caused. I told him it's fine, but he won't stop apologizing. I'll admit, I was a little scared of him at first, but I've gotten to know him better. All he ever wanted was to help his friend. Honestly, it's hard not to like him. Every now and then, I catch him staring at me. When I ask what's wrong, he says, I'm not sure. I think I'm forgetting something. Don't know what. Sora, I think it may have something to do with you. Your journey is all about helping people. Some that you've never met before, and some like Lee that you have. They're all counting on you. It won't be easy, but I hope you'll remain the happy and cheerful Sora I know. There's no heart your smile can't reach. <gasps> What's wrong? Huh? Uh, nothing. Sorry. Lee. What? I am. <laughs> A letter? Yep. To Sora? Mm, technically, yes. But I won't send it. It's more for me. Ask Merlin. He'll deliver it for you. Yeah. But it's okay. I just like talking to Sora. Even if it's on paper. Oh, okay. Weird girl. Oh. Hmm? Here. Ice cream? Really? Yeah, I asked Merlin to pick these up. You know, we did both summon Keyblades. Gotta celebrate. You're sweet, Lee. <laughs> nah. What? No, uh, nothing. I just... You're trying to remember what you forgot? Well, I, uh... Yeah. Yeah. So tomorrow, you and me in the ring. You ready? Of course. Don't hold back, Lee. Promise? Yeah. 
Oh, that's bright. Huh? Are you okay? Lee? Uh, yeah. Sorry. You're crying. What's wrong? Uh, something in my eyes. Lee. I'm gonna go. Sorry. He dropped his ice cream, too. Okay, but stop apologizing. Fine. On one condition. What? Call me Axel from now on. Got it? Memorized? Yeah. Okay, Axel. Why is he still wearing black? He's one of the good guys now. Need to get out of that black outfit. Alright, I did not see that coming. So, if... Depending on where we're at here, we will truly end the episode. Oh, more cutscene. It's Mickey! The King! Where are they going? So this is the place. Where Aqua fell into the realm of darkness after she dove in to save Terra. Yeah. She said he was acting strange. Strange how, exactly? She sensed darkness in him. And they ended up getting into a big fight. Right. And in the aftermath, the two of them disappeared. Around the same time, the guards found a stranger with white hair lying unconscious here in the square. A man calling himself Xehanort. Anson the Wise took the stranger in, but that was a mistake. Xehanort betrayed his master, stole his research, and along with his fellow apprentices, separated his heart from his body. Xehanort's heart took his master's name, Ansem, and traveled to the past to give his younger self instructions. He even briefly had control of you. His empty body stayed in the present, took the name Xemnas, and founded Organization 13. Their goal was to prepare 13 vessels for Xehanort's heart. Until we put an end to the organization. But all the while, young Xehanort had been visiting the future to choose 13 vessels of his own. Hearts with strong enough ties to him to begin a new organization. The real Organization 13. And now they're looking for a fight with us. But what happened to Terra? I thought you said that Aqua saved him. Yep, she did. The problem is we didn't notice. You remember the end of the Mark of Mastery exam when Master Xehanort made his grand return? That's the Xehanort I remember. He was already a pretty old man then. But how do you explain Ansem and Xemnas, his heartless, and his nobody? Isn't it strange how young they look? Why aren't they old men? It's because Xehanort was using a different body when the split happened. That face from the portrait I mentioned? It wasn't just some stranger that Ansem the Wise took under his wing. It was the young man whose body Master Xehanort possessed. No way! That was Terra? Master Xehanort was using Terra? Yup. Master Xehanort told us another on our list belonged to him. He was talking about Terra. Turns out, Aqua saved more than just her friend that day. Okay, but Master Xehanort is an old man again now. Where did Terra's body go? Hmm. <gasps> it's because Master Xehanort's collecting vessels! He claimed to have two of our seven lights. We got Sora back, but Terra must still be on Xehanort's side. He's with Organization 13? 
We should warn Sora. Yup! And Merlin too! Yeah. Alright, I guess that was to catch us up on the story. Are they going to continue with more cutscenes? Alright, they are not. We're able to travel now. Hmm. Wow, there's a lot of things to worry about here. So I can go to the bistro from here too? Uh... Alright, this is where we're going to really end the episode for real this time. So alright, until next episode, take care, bye bye now, Static Buzz out. What's the level 5? Am I level 5? I don't even know. Garage. Gummy shop. What? Uh, I might have to check this out later. Alright. Bye, everybody. It's time for real.